plenty of movement ahead of uh, Paddy Kirk. He sent it across to Dylan Grimes, but Shane Griffin can clear. Towards Smith, onto it comes Lewis. Burns bursting forward down this near side. He's got three to aim at in the penalty area. But Driscoll across to cover. Burns thinking about the goal himself. And uh, not a bad effort. Just sailed away from him a bit, but uh, first real sight of goal for St. Pat's tonight. Jared Burns, two goals already this season and an assist. And there's Dobbs stretching Yaris. First shot on target in the game, coming from Longford Town. I think 60 years ago, almost to the day when St. Pat's won the FAI Cup back in 1961. I know you can't remember that, but I'm sure, Jer, it's uh, like folklore and uh, great story from the past. St. Pat's winning that cup match against drums, from the old drum Condra, who no longer exists, of course. 53 years from that day to the very next win. Oh, chance here! Coughlin is in! And while I'm blathering on about cup finals of years ago, Ronan Coughlin is stealing in at the far post to take advantage of a terrible blunder in defence by Longford Town and put St. Pat's ahead. Coughlin scores again, his third of the campaign, and it's St. Pat's one, Longford Town nil. It's Dara Burns, who's standing over this corner kick. Mountney and Smith in the six yard box. The three centre backs all near the penalty spot. Delivery beyond the far post. Coughlin will be the first there. Here's Forrester. Oh, that's a great goal! One for the ages. Chris Forrester. Oh, from all of 25 yards. Curling into the top corner. What a strike. It's 2-0 almost sense the uh, swagger returning to St. Pat's after a, a really poor first half. Doing everything crisper now, but that's a poor ball from Desmond straight to Dobbs. A chance for Longford to get back on into the game here. Chambers driven wide. And now St. Pat's have got the cover back. Cross is good, Dobbs is there. Flicked header, but he didn't get enough on it. And it's behind, I think for a corner kick. Yeah, not like Lee again. A little bit uncertain. He kind of found himself a little bit further up the pitch. He got on the ball, and it's just it's such a blind pass. To, and Dobbs was able to, to kind of bring his teammates in. And um, I'm not sure who got the touch in it. It might be in Lee as well, who actually got back. But um, it's given Longford an opportunity here in the corner. Dylan Grimes to take it. Longford's first corner. Short to Bulger. And that's a, a poor cross from Grimes, but it has come to Chambers. And that's better! And it was Dobbs who was in there, and again, it's a corner kick. Must have come off the keeper. Or Paddy Barrett's head, I'm not too sure. Unless Dobbs is telling them. Dobbs is definitely giving out to the referee here. I'm not sure Ray is interested in that, but it's the cross from the uh, from, from Grimes wasn't great, but, but certainly the ball back in from Chambers was outstanding, and, you know, they nearly got themselves back into it. When you have that fourth game in, the, in that such a short spell with them three games, you want to make sure the fourth one's good. It hasn't been, a, you know, a, I'd say a vintage performance the way what we've seen so far from from the from this team. But with with a couple of changes that's been made and probably one eye on on a tough trip on Monday as well, it's a good performance in terms of a result, and, and that's going to be the most important thing. Little mistake at the back by Longford Town and the chance here to kill it off with Forrester. His second goal, and St. Pat's have a third. More sloppiness in the Longford Town defence, and in added time, St. Pat's, well, they look like they're cruising, but it was much more difficult than that. This campaign has been altogether different for the Saints, and they're coming looking for another here with Cochrane trying to set up Birmingham. Dean Byrne back to cover for Longford. The final action sees St. Pat's on the attack and uh, a thoroughly professional performance again from the Saints, but a little bit lucky, Jer, how it all started off in this second half.